Okay, so I just went down this crazy rabbit hole for miniature golf, like no joke. And who knew something as innocuous as mini golf would also piss me off. So the reason why I was even thinking of miniature golf is because today is National Miniature Golf Day. And I was like, I wonder where the first miniature golf course was. So the oldest known course is actually in St. Andrews. Yes, that's St. Andrews in Scotland. That is the oldest golf course in the world. Now, if you're wondering why on earth would St. Andrews open a mini golf course, this is where it gets annoying. They didn't want the women's playing with them. Dudes were like pushing for a special area for the women to play and of course it couldn't be too strenuous so that they weren't swinging the clubs too high. St. Andrews decided to put together a challenging putting course. Started as nine holes, it is now 18 holes. Now this is where it gets funny. This gave way to a more challenging game <laughs> where they were playing golf with obstacles called Gofstacle. <laughs> this was a version of mini golf and croquet with a series of tunnels and bridges. It was patented by William Senhouse Clark. He is from the UK in 1907. However, mini golf made its way to the US and the first mini golf course was in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Again, yes, that Pinehurst. It was originally built as a private course for shipping magnate James Barber in 1916. So I had a lot of options for travel inspiration today and I decided to go with Pinehurst because back in the day I actually played Pinehurst. Yes, little old me. Now did I do well? Absolutely not, but I did play it. Public can play one, three, and five. You just gotta pony up the fee which is $165. You can play the championship courses which are the private courses two, four, six, seven, eight, and nine if you are staying at the Pinehurst Resorts or you are a member. So really Pinehurst itself is like this gigantic golf resort with nine courses and then throughout them are a bunch of hotels and there is a spa. The big fancy one, number two, the championship course that they play at every year in the PGA, you can play that one if you pony up $400 for the round. That like literally almost stopped my heart. Now in terms of the place to stay, the Carolina Hotel is known as the Queen of the South. It's got large verandas, a beautiful grand lobby, and all appointed rooms. It's got dining and a coffee house on site. No spa, but there is the spa at Pinehurst in the resort, so no need to have one in the hotel. So enjoy today's travel inspiration to Pinehurst, North Carolina. Oh. Oh, oh, oh.